can't believe I read this table wrong. I blame you. <laughs> me? What did I do? But you distract me. I've been distracted since the moment I met you. Oh. Sorry. Well, you should be. Because all I can think about is how much I want to kiss you. Oh. And not just on the cheek, but on the mouth. <laughs> like mommies and daddies do. Sheldon? Hello. <laughs> what are you doing here? I have troubles, Penny. <laughs> I've come to pour them out to the sympathetic ear of the local barkeep. You know, they have a really nice bar over at the Olive Garden. I don't like the Olive Garden. They treat me like family. Hello, old friend. <sighs> Daddy's home. Why did the chicken cross the Mobius Strip? To get to the same side. Bazinga! Uh, Neutron walks into a bar and asks how much for a drink. The bartender says, for you, no charge. <laughs> Hello? I know you're out there. I can hear you metabolizing oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. <laughs> It looks like we have some academic dignitaries in the audience. Uh, Dr. Randall from the geology department, only man who's happy when they take his work for granted. But a job. <laughs> I've kid the geologists, of course, but it's only because I have no respect for the field. <laughs> Let's get serious for a moment. <laughs> Why are we all here? Because we're scientists. And what do scientists study? The universe. <laughs> and what's the universe made of? I am so glad you asked. <laughs> There's antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and radium. Look, Dr. Cooper, I really want this position. It would be an incredible honor to work for a man of your brilliance. Yeah. Flattery will not get you this job, Miss Jensen. <laughs> it's not flattery if it's the truth. Oh. Well, thank you. Welcome aboard. Is this your first date? That depends. Does square dancing with my sister at a Teens for Jesus 4th of July hoedown count as a date? No. Then this is my first date. Okay. Well, then there's a couple of things you should probably know. I have a master's degree and two doctorates. The things I should know, I do know. <laughs> My point is, I know more about dating than you, and if you were as smart as you think you are, you would listen to me. If you know so much, how come I have a date tonight and you have nothing better to do than drive me to it? Fair point. Because if you had fun, then you are. You are a winner. Now, that's, that, that's what chess is all about. Hello. Hey. Oh, hey. Sorry, Sheldon. I'll move. Yeah. Why? My spot? Your spot? What difference does it make? Penny. 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 What's the matter? Um, well, I was worried that you might be missing Leonard. <laughs> and that might be causing you to have bad dreams. You know, like the kind you'd get if you watched Clash of the Titans right before you went to bed. Sweetie, did you have a bad dream? To be honest, I did. Back to the Future 2 was in the Back to the Future 3 case. <laughs> Leonard did it. Good night. You wouldn't know to wait. Howard, Raj, Judas. You know what? You're a crazy person. A crazy person with a long memory and if all goes according to plan, a robot army. Stop it. Or a mutant army. It depends on how my Kickstarter goes. <laughs> <laughs> to the metric system. <laughs> I can't taste the cherries. <clears throat> Dr. Green, question? Yes. 
You've dedicated your life's work to educating the general populace about complex scientific ideas. Yes, in part. Have you ever considered trying to do something useful? <laughs> Perhaps reading to the elderly? Excuse me? Yeah, but not your books. Something they might enjoy. <laughs> I kid, of course. Big fan. As a man with a keen sense of style, I must tell you, that chair does not work with the room. Penny? Penny? Ah! Penny. Hi, Sheldon. Ah! He's in my spot. You let her make him stop being naked in my spot. Howard, what are you doing? He wasn't using it. And I needed a nice, cool piece of leather to wiggle my naked ass on. Get off there. Give me back my Iron Man helmet. Give me back my parking space. You don't need a parking space. You don't have a car. But if you don't need an Iron Man helmet, you're not Iron Man. Well, we appear to have reached an impasse. And you know, I have to say, I thought you'd be more upset that your laptop is sitting on my junk. <laughs> I didn't pick up on that. That's a nice touch. Do you hear anything? I hear a woman's voice. Is it Penny? But no, it's you. <laughs> So you picked my name. Get over it. Yes. And do you know what the odds are I'd pick your name? No. It's not hard. One in five. Now you know why I'm pouting. <laughs> what happens next? Oh, more testing, more success, more fame. Yeah, but don't worry. I will remain the same down-to-earth, humble Joe I've always been. Good to know. Yeah. Now give me that cookie. I discovered an element. <laughs> All right, I like a good brain teaser. Give it a whirl. You're in luck. This is an easy one. In a world where mankind is ruled by a giant intelligent beaver, what food is no longer consumed? Uh, a BLT where the B stands for beaver? <laughs> Leonard, be serious. We're playing a game here. <clears throat> I can figure this out. Let's see. Um, well, beavers eat tree bark. The only tree bark I know that humans consume is cinnamon, so I'll say cinnamon. Incorrect. Obviously, the answer is cheese Danish. <laughs> Penny, you face failure on a daily basis. <laughs> How do you cope? I drink. <laughs> to drinking. <laughs> nope. Remarkable. Did you have sexual intercourse with all of these men? No! no although that number would be fairly easy oh. to calculate, based on the number of awkward encounters I've had with strange men leaving her apartment in the morning, plus the number of times she's returned home wearing the same clothes she wore the night before. Okay, Sheldon, I think you've made your point. So we multiply 193 at minus 21 men before the loss of virginity, so 172 times 0.18 gives us 30.96 sexual partners. <laughs> Let's round that up to 31. Okay, Sheldon, you are so wrong. That is not even close to the real number. I'm gonna need a drink over here. <laughs> what about you, Penny? Do you go on many dates? Uh, you know, I wouldn't say many. A few. <laughs> <laughs> What's... <laughs> Your character is... It's 10 o'clock. Where have you been? We stayed for the California Adventure Water Show. It was pure Disney magic. <laughs> I was going to see that with him. How was I supposed to know that? It's all right. I'll, I'll see it again with you. And I have food here. You said you were going to call. I know, I know. I can still eat. No, you already threw up once. Go put on your PJs and brush your teeth. <laughs> okay, but just don't fight. We're not fighting. Just go. <laughs> Aren't you going to thank Penny for taking you to Disneyland? Thank you, Penny. You're welcome, sweetie.
Want a cup of coffee? Oh, um, I should probably get going. <laughs> you may have gone to Cambridge, but I'm an honorary graduate of Starfleet Academy. <laughs> You know, I saw this great thing on the Discovery Channel. Turns out that if you kill a starfish, it'll just come back to life. Was the starfish wearing boxer shorts? Because you might have been watching Nickelodeon. <laughs> no, I'm almost sure that it was the Discovery Channel. It was a great show. They also said dolphins might be smarter than people. They might be smarter than some people. Well, maybe we can do an experiment to find out. Well, that's easy enough. We'd need a large tank of water, a hoop to jump through, and a bucket of whatever bite-sized treats you find tasty. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. What? I'll reprogram Howard. What? Sheldon, you can't reprogram people. But no, you can't reprogram people. <laughs> to James Tiberius Kirk. Hey, you got Snoopy out. Can I have a snow cone? Well, sure. These are pretty good. What flavor is this? Guess. <laughs> Papaya? No. Guava? You're so close. Why well, I give up? Mango caterpillar. <laughs> You said you liked it. 